don't know if anybody's ever blocked out the back of a single or double cab that has these stupid raised up X's right here. But it's really stupid. Got the roof blocked out in 180. And uh, that's what's sweet about this polyester primer. You only have to go to 80 grit in your mud work so you know it's nice and straight because of course of the grit straighter it cuts. Put three coats of poly on there which doesn't shrink. Sand that with 180. I'll re-guide coat it again after this and sand it with 320. And uh, then I'll we'll put final primer on it. <clears throat> so uh, that's how that works. Using this drag guide coat. Stuff like that. I'm out of sandpaper at the moment. I'm waiting for the paint store to get here. dead piece of 180 to give you an idea. I got a lot of questions about how hard is it to block out the poly. It's definitely harder than the urethane primer. But as you can see, it's not terrible. This is a piece of paper I've been using all day. It's noon. So I've been using this paper since about 9 o'clock. Yeah. Anyways, that's the deal with that. I gotta get some video of the before. <laughs> hey, <I'm back. laughs> NOS patch panels. Huh? NOS patch panel. Test. Well. U.O.S. <laughs> right. you old, use old stuff. <laughs> Slightly damaged. That's the nicest piece we could find right there. It's custom. A nice before shot. This isn't the piece that came off this car, this is a piece of another car. You know, it came off a car that needed to have it replaced, and we're using that as our piece, <laughs> as our good piece, because you just can't get parts for these. So, uh, the piece that was on here, somebody had already made before, with like some galvanized roofing or something. But, uh, Yeah, so there's a quick update on that situation. Somebody had asked when I showed the other quarter panel before why it was shiny. That's from a shrinking disc. They make different sizes. We have a, a little one here that works for small spots. And the other one, I can't show it. Oh, wait, here it is. So anytime you do a lot of metal work and you're hammering and dolling and all that stuff, you end up with uh, too much metal and you need to shrink it back down. That thing works really good. Once you figure out how to use it, I'm not the best with it. I've only used them a couple times. I'm getting kind of okay with the small one on my collision work. So a lot of times when you use the stud gun, you know, and you have little 
the little high spots. We go over it with the shrinking disc and it kind of levels all that down and shrinks it back up. But uh, you end up with a pretty nice finish. Couldn't use the whole piece off of this because it was off the car that got rear-ended and this piece was just mangled back here so 